This is an Open Tunes quick tip that, believe it or not, does not have anything to do with this character that I, I want to come back to this and show how I, how I did this because it was so simple. There's like one drawing. Um, okay, not exactly one. There's like three, but two of them are mouths, so that doesn't count. Here's the question. How do you do mirrored drawing in open tunes. So you want to draw just one side of your character and have it come out perfectly symmetrical. Which frankly for a lot of different kinds of cartoons is really really important. Well here's how you do it. You hit the B key and you draw a dot. Okay. So now there's a drawing. I'm going to go control C, control V. So I just pasted that drawing and then I'm going to hit A for the animate tool I'm going to put it in scale mode and then here in the horizontal H I'm going to just go over here and put a little minus sign in front of that. So now we have the same drawing in both columns but this one vis-a-vis -vis the animate tool is in fact flipped. Net result whoopsie poo did I just do some? I did hang on didn't mean to insert a keyframe there Okay, let me fix that. Sorry about that. It's an interesting thing though. I switched it to negative 100. Then when I accidentally touched the animate tool again and then hit undo, it didn't go back to negative 100. It went back to negative 97 point, you know, whatever, which is a little concerning. Uh, OpenTune should be keeping better track uh, of the size of things. But in any case... what you discover in this case is oh okay this is interesting alright you see what happened I've got it mirrored vertically silly silly me let me go back and check this ah the global is set to negative 100 as well I think I just did it in the wrong column so that should be negative 100 that should be 100 let me see what happens now B. Okay. So now, now you can just draw on one side of your screen and create a drawing of a very villainous character that actually consumes or encompasses both sides of the screen. Pretty cool, huh? So then the question you might be asking is, well, Dave, that sounds all very well and good, but what about A, when I want to unite the two? Because if you actually look at the drawing, it's only half there. Here's what you do, and this is kind of important. If you grab the two levels, the, fo the following step will not work. You go to X sheet, well, okay, now it says it will. Hmm. Okay. When I was fiddling with it before, it seemed like if I just selected the levels, it didn't work. But if I selected the images, it did. But anyway, I go X sheet. And where did it go? Merge levels. Oh, right there. Okay, it's the opposite. Hmm. All right, I'm going to grab the two levels. Boom, boom. X sheet. Merge levels. Now, you watch the drawing. It'll get dark. It is not possible to delete lines because no column cell or level strip. That's interesting. Well, it's always fun when you do stuff. Okay, that time it worked. I don't know. I probably clicked the wrong thing or here or something. But you notice how it got a little darker? Well, that's because there's two instances of the drawing in place now. This one has, um, well, it looks like they both have, they both have both halves. Anyway, delete the second one. And now we have a unified single drawing. And now you're free and clear to go ahead and add some shading or whatever it is that you might want to do. So let us review the steps one more time. All right. It's the last time I'm going to do it. Draw a dot is so that it creates a drawing. Step one. Step two. Control C. Control V. Step three, 
animate tool, the A key. Make sure it's in scale mode. Go to the horizontal dimension, make it negative. All right. Personally, I mean, you can actually go ahead and draw it from either side. Right now I'm drawing from the right side. Now I'm drawing from the left side. It doesn't matter. Okay, and you can draw on either column. It doesn't matter which column you draw on. So it all works completely as you would expect. And then when you're done, grab the two levels, X sheet, merge levels, and then delete the extra one. Okay, that is in just five and a half minutes, the OpenTunes quick tip of the day.